We have a new fan smart switch to try out. This is the Caseta by Lutron Claro smart switch. Now this doesn't have any dimming capabilities. It's just on and off, but it does support fans up to three amps. So I'm gonna be using this on the fan in this room. I'm gonna have one of these control the light and one of them control the fan. Cause I've learned you don't really need to have dimming capabilities. Sometimes you just want it to go on and off. So this would work, but then I'm also gonna try and keep the fan remote connected. So if we do wanna change the speed, we will be able to do that. So let's try this out. This is going to be the fan switch with a black cable, and this is going to be the light switch of the fan with the black and red. So now let's head to the other end and see what we need to adjust there. Now the Claro switch does come with a bunch of wire nuts as well as a jumper cable if you need it in a three-way, and then it does require a neutral wire. So you'll need to make sure you have that to be able to install this. Always a good idea to take a picture of your wiring before you begin. Then we're gonna remove the ground, load, and hot. Next, we're gonna straighten out the wires, attach the green to the ground. So it looks like this one is my load, so that is going to connect to the red, which is going to the fan. Then I'm gonna attach the black to the line, or what is bringing power to the fan. Then next, I'm going to attach the white to the white bundle for neutral. Just going to do both of these at the same time. And I'm gonna do the same for the fan light. Start with green on ground, then red is going to the load, and black is going to the hot. And we're gonna double check our wiring. Before we finish this up, we're gonna to head to the fan, make sure that's all wired correctly, and then we'll turn on the power, test it, and then I'll finish up here. And here's the fan remote control box and there is all the wiring. So is what needs to happen is we need to separate this red one from here and then connect it directly to the power down to the red so that it can just control the light. And then we're gonna replace the power. It's gonna go directly into the fan motor. So when the switch is on, we'll be able to adjust the speed. And when it's not on, it just won't work. Let's see how it goes. So first I fixed the light and so all I did was get the red cable and the blue was wired light. So I removed the blue from here and that is now connected to here. So the next thing I need to do is I need to add power back to the motor through this. So I'm going to be detaching, looks like this one. So this is our black cable. So now all I need to do is take the black cable and attach it to the power and then put it back together and we should be good to go. Now just for fun, I completely removed the wiring to the motor and I attached the fan directly to the switch. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. Now there is no way for me to adjust the speed because I don't have access to the remote and there's no pull strings. It sounds like it's giving full power to the fan. So if you want it to be always full power, that's great. Now we like the medium speed, so I would definitely recommend keeping in the motor receiver so that you still have access to adjust the speed from the remote because you do not have any pull cords or anything like that. So I hope this was helpful for you. I'm gonna switch it back now, put it all together. And here is a look at the final wiring. So we have the neutral going here. We have the line to the light switch there. And then we have the motor, we just capped off the light right here, that is up here. Now we just need to fit all this back up there, put the cap back on. And here you notice it shows that it is capable of having a five amp light as well as a three amp fan. Those are on the Claro smart switches. And then down here you do have the option to pull this out and that kills the power to the switch if you need to reset it or kill the power. And you can press it back in. So both of these have those. All right, let's turn the power back on. Now that the power's back on, let's go ahead and test out our Claro switches. So this one will control the fan light, so that instantly turns on. And then this one is controlling the fan. So once I turn that on, it's then sending power to the fan, turning it on to whatever level we have it set as. Now previously on our old light switch, when you turn on the fan, it would flash the light and turn it off 
and then turn on the fan. So now it is not doing that anymore, which is great. And then we still have the option to use a remote to change the fan speed. So there I can set it to low, go to off, go to high, and back to medium. So I really like the Lutron Claro Smart Switch. It's great that we have the option to use it on a switch or a fan. Now, because this is a Caseta by Lutron product, I can add it to the Lutron Hub just by going into the app, holding down on the off for 10 seconds, and then pairing it in the app. And then I can set it up with my smart home, having it work with Google, Alexa, or even HomeKit. There you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.